All right, guys, so we are back with another video. Um, right before we jump into this video, this uh, I'd love for you guys to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. Um, this is in our Greenville location. This is a, a Schult Ridgefield home, a four bedroom, two bath. Uh, and we're going to catch the floor plan up here in just a second. Um, this is a Schult Ridgefield home, a very, very well built Clayton home. As you see here, we do have a two separated living rooms and also four bedrooms. So guys, we're gonna start off here in the front living room. As I said before, it is a fully sheet rocked home. Uh, we do have crown molding and baseboard molding in this home, along with thermal pane windows and a lot of really energy efficiency upgrades. Um, their insulation in these homes are just ridiculous. Um, a lot of good features and, uh, and just to keep your electric bill really low. As you see here, we are looking right into the kitchen. A lot of cabinet space in this kitchen. And also we have a built-in, I'm sorry, not a built-in, a dine-in uh, kitchen here. And we did add some wainscoting here just to really dress up this area and define it as a dining room. So as you see here, we do have a lot, a lot of cabinet space. Now this is one thing this house is not like on and that is storage space. So as you see here, you have some room on one side of the bar uh, island that you could put a couple of bar stools just so you can have a little uh, seating area right at the bar. And also too, we just put some extra panels up here on the island so you can kind of see how it's dressed up. As you has, as uh, I've seen, in, uh, I'm sorry, as I've said in other videos, you can see that uh, manufactured homes have come a really, really long way. I have personally been in this home and these cabinets are very, very sturdy. They should last you a lifetime. Uh, as long as you take care of them, just like anything else. Um, as we have mentioned in other videos as well, you can uh, do any kind of appliances pretty much. You can do a built-in microwave. You could do a stainless steel appliances. Um, if you do not like the black, you could also do white and those actually cost a little bit less. So we have actually seen kind of a surgence of people ordering white appliances recently just to save a little bit of money. So that's a possibility guys. Um, as you see here, there are some extra storage on the side of the bar, and we have a banquet of drawers here. We also have drawer over doors on the island, which gives you four extra drawers, making a, a grand total of eight, which if you know anything about manufactured homes, that is a good amount of drawers, because usually they stick you with four, and that is it. But like I said, manufactured homes have come a really long way. We did put in a dishwasher here. I love that window looking out. Um into your backyard or what could be your backyard guys this home is sold off of our greenville lot but we can reorder it for you um and we can pick out all the colors well you can pick out all the colors and you can design house how you'd like as you see here we have this beautiful light gray barn wood floors it really just kind of ties everything together now this home <clears throat> like i said is a four bedroom um there is a good surprise on these two bedrooms back here, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But I wanted to show off this laundry room first. Um, one thing that I really love in a laundry room is that storage space is a big thing. As you just saw, a glimpse of it in the right-hand corner. Sorry we didn't catch it, but it did have a linen closet in there. And that laundry room actually gets closed off. So you actually have a door there. And it makes it really nice so you don't have to, um, you know, hear your washing machine going whenever it is. This is the den. It actually stretches over into the other half of the home and a lot of good space back there. We'll get back to that in just a second. So this is one of the three bedrooms that are on the end. Now, if you do not need a full four bedroom, but if you got this home and you just used it, I would use this one as my office. Still has a good amount of closet space, but just not as much as the other bedrooms that I'm fixing to show you here in a minute. And as you see here, this den is just massive and has a ton, a ton of natural light. Now, this is the second bathroom where your guests would use. Um, it has a porcelain sink. We have the cabinets to match the kitchen, and we also have a nickel finish faucet. Now, we also in here have a 
one piece fiberglass tub. Now, you've heard me guys, you guys have heard me say that a million times. So what that really means is that you really should not have any leakage behind it. Back in the old days, it would be like a couple different pieces and be kind of tacked together and it would be kind of a plastic material. But now we have really upgraded and done the one piece fiberglass. Makes life really, really nice and helps you prevent and protect your home in the long run. Now, we do have carpet in these bedrooms. If you would like to do vinyl flooring, all you have to do is request that. It will be a slight upgrade, but you can do it. Here is a surprise, guys. These back two bedrooms both have walk-in closets. You actually have a little dent in indent there. You can put a desk um, for this bedroom, but the next bedroom has a walk-in closet as well. So these two back bedrooms have a ton, a ton of storage space. As you see here, back into the den, a lot of good space there. And here you'll see that we do have a lot of natural light coming in. Those windows do fold in. There are double pane and they're thermal pane, which means they're very energy efficient, but they also fold in for easy cleaning. So we think about function, guys, too. We think about how your daily life will make it a little bit easier. So just by making those windows fold in, that makes your life easier. Here is another good walk-in closet. Like I said, a ton of storage space in this house. You just shouldn't need any more storage space. But if you do, you know, more power to you, I guess. <laughs> so uh, as you see here, looking back into the kitchen, there's an extra wide hallway. You could easily put a desk or something in that hallway. Now, we're going to go into the master. Um, guys, we're going to get to pricing, so stick around. We will get to that in just a few seconds uh, when we get done with this master tour. A lot of natural light coming in through those two windows. Um, and we do have a dual door looking into the master suite here. We do have a tub and a shower in this master. We do have two vanities sitting there. So that makes getting ready in the morning super, super nice. You don't have to fight over a sink. We do have a linen closet in this bathroom as well, which again gets back to having a lot of storage in this home. Now, a lot of people are wondering probably, uh, where's the closet in this master? Where's the closet in this master? <laughs> so there is a big, big closet. We'll get to that in just a second. So here's your shower. Just your standard shower. Now, if you wanted to do a tiled shower here, you totally can. We have ordered this home with a tiled shower before in that spot, and you really can do that. It makes life really nice. So here is that massive closet. It runs the full length of the bathroom, and it also is very deep. Um, you have tons and tons of storage space in there. Uh, you could pretty much put it anywhere. Now, guys, this is going to be pretty much the end of this home tour. You know, we do have a, uh, a ton of homes on all five of our locations. This is in our Greenville location, and we really appreciate you guys looking at this video. Uh, the base price on this home will probably be somewhere around the 110 mark, um, but that is a base price. Nothing is included in that, and we really appreciate you guys watching. So, guys, we thank you. Give us a like, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.